Hey, hi everyone. Satsri Akal and good afternoon to you all. Welcome to the Live of Right Directions again. My name is Gurindajit Kaur and I am the Senior Master Trainer in IELTS at Right Directions. Now today I have come live with a different module in your IELTS exam that is the listening module. So before starting with the explanation of this particular module today I would like to talk about my firm first. Now I really feel proud that our team at Right Directions basically all the employees they are really working great guys uh, just for the services they are providing to the candidates who want to appear for their IELTS PT or Jalingo tests and I mean the efforts they are doing I mean these are really priceless really I need to just congratulate everyone at Right Directions today and you know we even feel happy to provide the access to the visa filing so you know my thanks you know goes to Mr. Vinaymithil who founded this organization back in 2006 in Yamunanagar so I really feel happy to be a part of this organization okay then let's start with the listening module now so today I would like to cover all these kind of topics basically I'm going to give you you know a lot of uh, knowledge about how you have to overcome your problems how you need to improve your mistakes and what you have to do to score really high in your IELTS exam so basically first let me tell you that I'm going to cover today what actually IELTS is in sorry the listening is in IELTS okay and then again I would even like to share the listening scorecard with you I would even just tell you about some instructions okay basically these instructions are for the test takers okay I'm even going to talk about the most common mistakes the candidates make and how these mistakes affect your band score in your listening module today I have even come with a great surprise it's about the spelling test that is really a helpful tool when it comes to your listening module I would even tell you how the listening is made confusing that is the recording that you listen you know how that's made confusing for the candidates I would like to pen down some of my suggestions okay these would really be helpful for you to score really high in your listening module and I would even tell you about the top 10 important tips yes of course these tips would really take you to really high band score I would even just tell you the do's and don'ts when it comes to your listening module. Okay, these you have to just keep in mind whenever you guys prepare for your IELTS listening module. Okay, in the end, I would like to tell you how to score 8 in your IELTS listening today. So I hope you stay tuned till the end of this live so that you just come to know about everything I would just pen down or I would explain in this live today and you know the live would really be fruitful for everyone you know and let's start now so first let me introduce you know the listening module to you all basically listening module is the very first module of IELTS exam students and it is the same for both that is academic IELTS exam and the general training IELTS exam okay fine even the I mean scoring is same okay fine so now your listening IELTS test will take about 30 minutes okay and you will have extra 10 minutes to transfer your answers to your answer sheet okay yeah you can say that you know there may be some difference in the length of the recording that you hear sometimes you know it goes for even 25 minutes or it may even go for 30 minutes or it may even go for 35 minutes okay fine so what you have to do is you need to listen to the instructions for each section of the test there are basically four sections in your listening module you need to listen to all the instructions carefully try to answer all these questions why you have to answer all the questions because the plus point 
in your IELTS exam is that there's no negative marking students so just try to attempt every question please okay and there are 40 questions altogether. fine now each question carries one mark you need to pay attention okay for each part of the test there will be time for you to look through the questions that means you can read the questions and you can just try to you know assume the answers just before you hear the recording okay what you have to do when you finish up with your listening is you will have those 10 minutes that I explained you over here to copy or to transfer all your answers. I'm so sorry for that. Okay, there's some problem with my laptop, I guess, today. Okay, so you get 10 minutes extra to copy your answers onto a separate answer sheet. Okay, now the most important thing to remember is students, when you transfer your answers from your question sheet to your answer sheet, make sure you write down the answers in capital letters, please okay on the first go obviously when you're listening the recording and you're just writing down the answers you can go with the cursive handwriting okay because we already have a lot of speed while writing in cursive but when it comes to transferring your answers make sure you write in capitals because you know a lot of times the listening and the reading modules are checked by the computers so it becomes a lot you know difficult for the computers to understand your cursive handwriting okay so the capitals are really easy to read and understand even the examiners you know if it's you know checked manually so even the people sometimes are not able to read your cursive and writing okay so capitals really make it makes you know i mean it's easy for the examiners to check your answers easily let's move further i'm sharing you the band scorecard for your ielts listening module now most of the times the candidates get a lot of you can say problems when they just try to look for the band score okay so that's why i have just shared this thing with you today you can just take a picture of that if you want now on the left hand side you can see the correct answers okay and on the right hand side you have the band score fine so if i come to the 39 to 40 correct answers so it goes for your nine bands okay if I go for 37 to 38 correct answers, you go for the 8.5 bands, okay? 35 to 36, again, you know, take you to a band score of 8 in your listening. 32 to 34 is at 7.5 and, you know, I mean, it just follows this way, okay? Fine. The thing is that don't cheat yourself. When you check your answers, please make sure that, you know, you check your spelling mistakes, you know? You check your grammar you check the logical sense of your answers please if you just you know do the cheating over here with yourself you'll just suffer a lot in your examination then okay fine so let's move ahead now i am giving some instructions to the test takers what are these instructions the day when you just appear for your final lrw test these are the instructions given to you at the time you are about to start your listening module okay fine i'm just sharing these instructions so that you may have an idea okay and you may not get you can say nervous when you sit for your very first module that is your listening module and obviously you know you all might know this thing that if we start in a good manner we can just end up you know very well fine so if your listening goes really smooth you become more confident in your reading and your writing part fine so the first instruction is they just say you not to open the question paper until you are told to do so now sometimes students you know they keep trying you know to open the question paper okay fine you don't have to do that you need to wait for the instructions from your invigilators okay then they ask you to write down your name and the candidate number in these spaces at the top of the page that they give to you okay fine the next is you need to listen to the instructions for each part of the paper carefully. This is really very important. If you listen to the instructions, you'll be able to follow these instructions, students. Then answer all the questions. As I told you earlier, there's no negative marking, so it may just lead you to a higher band score. Okay. Now, remember, while you are listening, you need to write your answers on the question paper. Okay. Fine. Again, you will have 10 minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers to your answer sheet. 
now you need to use a pencil over here candidates why you need to use your pencil is because if you know done some of the mistakes or if you just you know get to know that you have done the spelling mistakes or you are not into the correct grammar you can erase it and you can rewrite the answers okay if you use a pen you will be just doing the cuttings and then you know it just keeps your sheet really untidy fine again neatness really matters when you just appear for the test okay now the last instruction i'm just giving is at the end of the test you will be asked to harden the question paper okay that you need to just give your question paper back to the invigilators okay fine i hope you know i mean this really makes it a lot easier for you okay to be a lot confident when you appear for your final exam so let's move ahead now I am sharing you the most common mistakes students make. Okay, fine. And these are really the silly mistakes I will tell you. The very first mistake is confusion between the singular and the plural. An example I am sharing over here is, let's say that there is a sentence in the recording, okay, in the audio that Ram has a lot of shops. Okay, and let's say your answer is shops okay so most of the times what we do is we just don't write the s for the plural okay after the word if you have written shop as your answer instead of writing shops your answer goes wrong okay and you know these are most of the silly mistakes that maximum population of the candidates commit and they make this mistake and we don't even know that we are into these type of mistakes okay the second type of mistake is the punctuation so candidates example is apostrophe plus s we usually skip writing this after the word and your answer goes wrong an example rita's father has a confectionery shop Let's say your answer is Rita's. Now you cannot write R I T I R I T E S. You need to write the apostrophe S over there, otherwise, your answer again goes wrong. Okay? Then coming to the most common mistake is the spelling errors. Even I am much into this whenever I have to just rush in speed in writing something. And later I just go through it, I just, you know, correct myself. So there's no need to worry about that. You only need to focus on your mistakes and you need to just improve these students. Okay. Spelling mistakes are, you can say, uh, most common mistakes that most of these students do. Okay. Fine. Even the professionals do this type of mistake. Okay. Then, you know, being out of the pattern of answering the questions. An example is, let's say that you have a pattern of answering the questions in no more than three words. Sometimes we write four words instead of writing no more than three words. Again, you know, it's a big problem, students. Your answer again goes wrong over here. You need to just focus on the pattern you are asked to write in the questions, please. Okay? Then again, many times... You know, we keep focusing on one question only. Why we do this is sometimes, you know, the recording is a lot confusing and we just read one question. We don't get an idea about the answer and we keep focusing and reading the question. But what happens is the CD moves forward and you even skip many other questions as well. This will be a lot big problem for you because once you lose your control over the recording you won't be able to have that control back that means you will just mess up your complete listening part okay so don't do that please then again the last common mistake is i'm really sorry for that students okay jumping the sequence of questions now what is this type of mistake Sometimes what the students do is, they just read the second question. If they don't get the answer, they directly jump to the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and they just keep jumping the number of questions. That really makes them into a lot problem as they just get a lot confused and they skip all these questions then. 
so please just don't do that students okay fine so now i am going to explain how these mistakes affect your band score now taking a simple example of the spelling mistakes over here if i talk about the poor spelling so that accounts for up to 6 incorrect answers in a practice listening exam that mean 6 answers you know go wrong when you just do even the spelling mistakes this simple one the silly ones or let's say example is you have just written the 6 incorrect spellings so what would happen that would be really enough to take your score of 23 out of 40 to 17 out of 40 And you know what will happen? Your band score of six would just become five. Okay, fine. And it is not because of the lack of listening skills, but it's just because of the poor spelling. Okay, fine. So please don't do that. Okay. Now these mistakes and many more like these can be avoided. How these can be avoided? Simply if the students spend a little time in each week working on their spelling okay so what you have to do is let's say today you have got five answers wrong just because of the spelling mistakes so five answers wrong should be practiced the same day write on those five words you know maximum or minimum of six times the same day so you won't repeat the mistake again okay now I'm even sharing you one activity that can really help you improve your spelling in the IELTS listening that is spelling tests. Okay, fine. I will just tell you about this. Okay, further in my life. Moving next, I'm sharing you simple, you know, spelling errors the students make. Most of my students, you know, what they do is when they have to write a word business, they just write, you know, these spellings. B U W S I N E W S. That's really wrong. Okay? It should be B U S I N E W S. Again, Johnson is spelled as J O A N S O N by the students, but the correct spelling, you know, as J O H N S O N. Again, machine, you know, is spelled wrong it should be m a c h i n e so please try to focus on these mistakes so that your listening could really be a great you can say boost to your overall ielts score okay it's really the simplest module okay in the ielts exam and it's really easy to crack this exam with good score okay all you need is just to practice fine just don't ignore this module even if you are good at it please i have seen that most of the students they get 7.5 or 8 so they just you know don't practice this you know many a times they say that we are already good at this module so we'll focus on the other modules okay but don't do that you can even achieve a 9 band score in your listening students so keep working hard okay now i would tell you how to improve your ielts listening score with spelling tests There are a lot of spelling test videos available on YouTube students. Okay, you can just go through those spelling test videos. Okay? You just need to write down the words as you listen. Okay? And you need to listen only once, please. Make sure you listen only once. Don't rewind the listening recording and then keep trying to focus on the words you listen. Okay? It should go in the one go. Okay? Now at the end of the video take 30 seconds to check your answers fine what you have to do is you need to compare your answers to the answer keys underneath each video or many a times what the speakers do is they just keep sharing the answers okay in their videos only fine pay attention go through these videos or what you can do is you can even you know practice with your friend or your uh, you can say brother or your sister you can just ask you know the person to give you the spelling test Okay fine that would even work wonders okay so let's see what we have now to cover i am going to tell you how listening recording is made confusing that mean how the candidates get confused while writing down the answers and they end up writing down the wrong answers even when they listen the correct answers okay so i have given you a lot of examples over here 
just you can take a picture okay fine you'll even note that when you just read these examples no when you go through these examples and when you'll focus on just going through the recordings when you practice your listening it will really help you to write down the correct answers okay so let's see the keywords in the question so many a times in your question you may have the keywords keywords that is affected by drop in sales that mean maybe that you know any organization is affected by drop in sales but in your recording you may hear suffering from falling sales okay fine that is you have some similar words in your recording maybe the answer is falling sales but you're focusing on drop in sales okay so here your concentration is really important students you need to pay attention okay coming to the next growing competition you know other words can be increased competition in your recording okay so we may have the answer as increased competition but you'll keep focusing on the growing word over here fine the next example causes of problems you may have a sentence okay that there are a lot of causes of problems in your question and similar words in your recording can be set back by that even mean you know you lag behind okay fine coming up to the next you may have a sentence lack of good training let's say a sentence is lack of good training you know affected the overall performance of candidates okay now you are concentrating on lack of good training but the similar words you have poor training in your recording okay fine so you know this really is a lot helpful for you to understand how the things are you know complicated fine for the candidates how these are twisted how the sentences and the you know i mean content is twisted for changed for the candidates okay just to check your listening skills okay fine so moving ahead now i'm giving you some suggestions of mine okay and these are really simple students you need to only focus on these okay and just make sure that whenever you go through my suggestions please try to use them practically okay otherwise these won't be helpful okay fine the very first one is understand the accent because the accents of the speakers are primarily british okay the speakers that speak in your recordings they follow the british accent so you need to tr understand the accent students okay find this really helps you out in understanding in listening and in grabbing or catching your answers okay now second suggestion i want to give is get used to the way letters and numbers are pronounced in british and american english obviously there's a lot difference you know between these two accents of english okay you need to focus on the letters and the numbers you know as how these are pronounced fine you can go through the videos on the youtube as well there are a lot of videos okay and you can just go through these you can just even practice yourself okay you can just speak you can hear and you can speak fine okay coming to the next suggestion now the expressions and idioms used are also british rather than in being into the american english okay whatever expressions are used whatever idioms are used they will also be in your british accent okay you know i mean most of the times we follow the british accent but you may even have some words in your american english okay don't ignore you know this accent as well it's really important many a times you get a lot of recordings where the people just talk in the american accent fine important thing is you need to learn to distinguish between opinion and fact okay understand what opinion means and what fact means okay i would just share a simple example over here okay the sun rises early in the morning that's a fact okay why that's a fact that's the universal truth it's real sun rises in the morning okay fine 
when i talk about my opinion i would say i really like the sun rays these are really good for me i really feel happy okay opinion is like what viewpoint you have okay and you know different people have different opinions obviously okay so distinguish between these two words please okay now follow instructions very carefully students many a times we ignore the instructions that are given just before the start of every section and when we ignore the instructions we end up doing more mistakes in our listening so please listen to the instructions very carefully okay now the questions follow the oral text this mean most of the times the questions are in sequence okay and many a times whatever recording you listen to that's all about the content and the questions you have in your question paper okay so try to be really smart okay in paying attention to the questions you have in your question sheet and to whatever you are listening in the recording okay my suggestion is just you need to be familiar with some charts okay the graphs flow charts bar charts and pie charts you know these really help you out to look for a lot of details okay fine so you'll get an idea how to look the details or how to just go you know through the information you just have in your recording okay and how to be really selective when it comes to grabbing the answers okay whenever you listen to a recording fine so these are my suggestions okay i am just sharing today with all of you and please try to go through these try to focus on these if you want to have a higher band score in your listening module okay now let's move further now i'm sharing you the top 10 ielts listening tips students and i assure you a band score of 8 and even above that if you just focus on all these tips okay the very first is timing what you have to do is you need to utilize your time wisely students here i mean you need to read the questions before you listen to the audio just to have an idea okay what you need to hear fine it really makes it really i mean simple for you to write down the correct answers when you look for the answers of the questions fine moving to the next step it is a listen for details now what this mean learn to use your listening skills to listen for details mean you don't have to keep focusing on everything you hear or you listen to in your recording just pay attention on what sort of details are being shared by the speakers okay where they focus on different words this will really be helpful for you whenever you have long conversations or whenever you have you know discussion or the conversation between two people okay now the third tip is accuracy when it comes to accuracy i mean always write down exactly what you hear you know what the students do is they just feel that when they are into the vocabulary they can score really high in their listening module it's really not like that students you cannot change the words by your own okay listening is all about how you understand how you grab how you catch the answers whether you are able to understand different accents or not fine so you only need to write down exactly what you hear in your recording okay then next step is focus focus as much as you can this is really hard i have even seen it myself whenever i try to do listening i easily get distracted okay if there will be a person who just passes you know from my you can say from my side i just you know have my eyes on that person i just get distracted and you know it happens with most of us so you need to work on that weakness of yours okay try to focus only on your recording and your question sheet avoid getting distracted from whatever is going around you okay the fifth tip is complete all the questions students please always give an answer 
as this will give you the best possible chance of a high score you know if you leave one answer you know blank that will really not be negative but maybe you fill the blank with you can say any type of word that you feel fits in whenever you're not able to get the answer maybe it goes correct and you score a higher band score okay fine moving to the next tip that is context now sometimes a student asks me ma'am we just don't understand what we listen to in the recording sometimes we don't understand what details are being shared by the speakers so what to do at that time it's simple what you have to do is you do not have you don't need to be scared please students and you do not have to concentrate on the complete information that is shared by the speakers what you can do is just you know go with the context of the question okay most of the times there are a lot of questions that are easy to attempt okay and you can just you know i mean uh, guess the word to just write down sometimes okay fine moving to the tip number 7 listen for just this mean do not try to listen to the recording word to word sometimes we focus on the complete recording you don't have to do that only focus on different words spoken okay fine like you can just uh, focus on the measurements if these are shared you can talk about they if they talk about the dates you can just focus on the dates okay sometimes they even talk about the days of the week fine so just focus on these okay tip number 8 is again timing now what the students do is they just you know whenever they write down the answer they just do this thing that they keep focusing on the spellings you don't have to focus on only one question making it correct and then moving to the next question please avoid doing that you have time to review you know your answers at the end of your listening fine you need to manage your time properly please tip number 9 is review once you're done with your listening once the cd is over review your answers okay many a times we miss one or two of your answers you know fine so we can just write down those answers okay sometimes we forget to mark something okay sometimes we are into the spelling mistakes fine so you get the time to correct your mistakes okay fine and the tip number 10 is proofread obviously at the end you need to proofread everything okay and you can just double check your answers fine this will improve your accuracy okay so by following these tips you will really get lot help when you practice your listening module okay so let's move further here i'm sharing you some do's and don'ts okay to keep in mind when it comes to your listening module now you need to make sure you can hear the audio clearly just before the start of your listening module test try to be sure that you are able to listen the audio clearly if not please raise your hand immediately because you don't get the time after the listening starts okay explain the problem that you are having with the recording okay time will be assigned for the ielts administrators and the invigilators to check the problem okay and to fix that fine so you don't have to be shy please okay now then we have listened to the instructions carefully again i'm saying avoid paying attention to other distractions in the room please the students say ma'am when we just were attempting our listening module no the invigilators were coming again and again and they were checking our personal details and the passport we had let them do that whatever they do you don't have to worry about that okay fine just concentrate on your listening module please as if once you get distracted you are getting you know disturbed from the complete recording okay then use the time before the recording is played to read and go through the questions carefully This will help you understand what the recording is going to be about and what kind of answers you should listen out for. Okay, 
fine so when you read the questions no you even get the idea about what you have in your question sheet and what the recording will be about again you just be really smart when you do this kind of thing and you really score high when you concentrate on these kind of things okay now predict what the answers may be before the recording obviously you can just do this because it would really give you a lot of you can say uh you know i mean help when it comes to paying attention to the number year date or location let's say you have a form to be filled okay by a candidate and the second speaker is giving you details about the phone number of that person okay the date of birth okay or the location you know where he or she is from so you need to pay you need to i mean pay attention to these kind of details okay then take note of how many words or numbers you are allowed to write as an answer again following the pattern is really important okay sometimes you get to answer the following questions in no more than three words or a number or a number mean either you can write down the words or any number but when it comes to answer the following questions in no more than three words and or a number now here you can even write a number with the words for example the speaker says there are four tables in that room if you have and or a number as the pattern to write down the answers instead of writing f o u r you can write four as a digit and you can write tables okay then again write the answers on the answer sheet in pencil again i would like to just tell you that you know if you write down the answers with the pencil during the recording even and after the recording you can correct yourself students okay and most common mistake the students do is they just i mean jump the sequence of answers let's say there are 40 answers now so when they just try to transfer the answers what they do is they just skip some of the answers let's say they have written the third answer in place of the second answer so the sequence gets disturbed and you will not get the band score students so try using pencil so that you can erase the answers and rewrite the answers okay now what you don't have to do let's see this you don't have to write everything you hear okay you cannot write and listen at the same time students okay so what you have to do is listen to the recording okay and you need to just be spontaneous write down what is required according to the question okay then students say ma'am can we use a pen please avoid using a pen okay it is harder to change your answers afterwards students you need to do cuttings then okay fine then you don't have to understand everything as i told you earlier train yourself to listen out for the important information related to the questions okay this comes with practice then you need to do lot of practice when it comes to your ielts exam and different modules in this exam students okay now looking at the questions for the next section during the time given to enter answers most of the students do this mistake what they do is when they have the time to write down the answers they just go through the questions of the next section you don't have to do that students you'll end up doing lot of mistakes in your section that you're already attempting okay so at one time focus on one particular section then jump to the next one okay then you don't have to panic getting nervous is quite common and it's natural don't panic what you can do is just be confident okay accept it and move on if you have done any mistake just accept that okay fine a calmer mind helps your listening comprehension the more calm you are the more concentration you can do the more easily you can go through the listening okay now comes a surprise for you all that is 10 steps the major steps towards a band score of 8 in your ielts listening module now i have seen this thing 
whenever I just deliver my sessions to the students for listening, what they do is, you know, one student stands, ma'am, like, would you like to share some tips with us? What we need to do and what we need to avoid. The second stands up, ma'am, please share some important tips with us. And the next one says, ma'am, I have gone through a lot of content and the material on the internet where many people have shared a lot of tips on listening, but I have got confused now. Students, please stop looking for tips in your listening module. Okay, the more tips you go through, the more it will be confusing for you. Instead, start practicing this module. It's really simple, believe me. Okay, then again, listen to English every day. As listening to English every day makes you much, you can see easy with this language. And, you know, try even to talk in English with your friends or your, you can say, brothers and sisters. Okay, as this will make you have a good hand in your English. Okay, and even if you listen to English songs or whenever you just, uh, you know, I mean, go through the English news. Okay, it really uh, makes it uh, easy for you to understand any sort of recording. Okay, or any sort of conversation. Fine. Then, next is listen actively. Many a times, uh, what the people do is when they just talk to someone or whenever they listen to a recording, they hardly pay attention to whatever they are listening. Okay, they have their I mean, mind occupied somewhere else. Please don't do that. Whenever you listen something, you know, listen to something, pay attention. Okay, you need to be really active when it comes to listening and understanding anything. Okay, then again. Have a strategy. Here I mean, follow, you know, certain type of strategies made by yourself, made by your own. As strategies, I mean, you can even just have these as strategies, practicing one, listening every day. Okay. Or, you know, you need to go through the questions that you find a lot difficult in attempting. Okay. Fine. So, please do that. Then I have... A particular step that is practice wisely you know you should just utilize your time properly and practice wisely please don't be that dumb okay when you sit for doing your listening fine you need to be really attentive okay really active and your mind should be really sharp when it comes to listening and attempting the questions please okay fine the sixth step is reflect now, here I mean, write down what exactly you listen to or write down whatever you, you know, listen for the first time. Please don't go through it again as you'll become habitual of doing that again and again. And in your final exam, you won't be able to attempt your listening on the one go. Okay, fine. Then, please students enjoy your listening module it's really i mean interesting okay it, it's, it's it's just amazing when you listen to the conversation between two to three people and you know you just you just get a lot of interest whenever you do your listening okay and once you start you know you know you start getting your good score you get more interest in your listening module okay so try to enjoy whenever you do your listening okay again focus okay this mean Please don't ever pay attention to anything else. Please focus properly on whatever you are doing. Okay, fine. You can't have your feet in two of your ships. Okay, at what time you need, one time you need to do one particular thing. Okay, then again, be prepared. Be prepared mean you need to be into the exact state of mind when you do your listening module. You know, you should have a fresh mind whenever you sit for this module because you need to have a lot of concentration when you just do this. Okay. Sometimes the students, you know, just start having the headache. Okay. Some even get fed up when they are not able to go through the answers. Okay. So be prepared that if you have to do this, you have to do this, you know, at whatever cost. Fine. Then again, don't book until you're confident. I always tell my students not to be in a hurry to book your exam date, please. Okay, if you are not able to have that desired score in your practice, please don't go for the bookings of your exam. Wait, practice, be prepared and then go for your exam date, please. So that's all I have today in my life. 
thank you so much to be that attentive and i'm really sorry for the i mean just you know skipping off my slides as i already told you there's a problem in my laptop definitely i'll overcome that and if you are interested in joining us candidates please you may join us okay we provide you different type of material even in our online classes so you can just you know register at our portal you can go through the material over there okay you can just contact us on our contact numbers fine please subscribe our youtube channel even okay you'll be notified for whatever new we come up with okay and follow us on facebook twitter quora okay and lot more platforms once again go in the jeet card this side thank you have a good day